Namaste. In today's practice, we'll focus on the interplay of breath and energetics. It is one part of a two-part sequence, focusing separately on the lower and upper body. We all have energy in the body. For those with a more physical practice, think of this energy as piezoelectricity created through the stress of a posture. For those working more with the subtle body, think of that energy as having an intelligence often referred to as chi, prana or life force. Whatever our practice, we can learn to detect, increase and move that energy in order to harmonize the flow of energy throughout the entire body. With practice, we can access the whole fascial network to move the energy wherever we need it, moving beyond the major roots of the meridians or nadis. In today's practice, we will adopt postures with specific target areas, and then use the breath in three ways. First, to relax the target area, allowing stress in the connective tissue to create a first level of energy. Second, we will use the breath to draw and concentrate more energy into the target area. And finally, we will use the breath to start moving that energy through the body. It is your choice to work with either the physical or the subtle bodies. I will guide you into each posture and through the three breaths, wherever possible, leaving some silent time for you to continue with energy movement or to simply observe and contemplate. I do hope you enjoy this sequence, both parts. It's an approach that I've been working on for a few weeks now. So please leave some feedback and let us know if you enjoyed it. Namaste. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Hi. In this part of this two-part sequence where we're focusing on energetics and the interaction of the breath, we're working on the fingertips to the hips. So in the other part, the sister part of this sequence, we work from the toes up to the hips or the pelvis. Today, it's from the fingertips down. We're going to start as we always do with some breathing just to bring that sense of focus and inward gaze and um, so make yourself comfortable i like to sit on a block you can cross the legs you can sit in cesar on the heels if you prefer wherever you're going to be comfortable for a good four or five minutes straightening the back Keeping the back straight is good if we're working with energies. Just straightens up the energy channels up the following the spine. Start by following the breath. And for our breathing focus today, we're going to use Nadi Shuddhi or alternate nostril breathing again. So we're going to Extend the ring finger, the thumb, bend the first two fingers, use the thumb on the right nostril, ring finger on the left. And very simply, we're just going to inhale and exhale, blocking the alternate nostril. We're not going to pause at the top or the bottom, just carry on breathing. So if we start by blocking the right nostril, inhaling through the left, block the left, Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right. Block the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Block the left. Exhale through the right. So just a nice natural rhythm. We don't want to force anything. We're not trying to create energy here. We're just trying to balance. Exhale, inhale, block, and exhale. So just find your own rhythm 
and continue with that for about another three minutes. Nadi Shuddhi or Nadi Sadhana or alternate nostril breathing. It's considered to be a great way to really balance those energies. In the Indian philosophy, we've got the Sushumna central energy channel running from the base of the spine up to the base of the head. And then on either side, we've got Ida and Pingala. So Ida on the left, Pingala on the right. Ida is the more moonlike feminine. Pingala on the right is the more sunlight masculine. And it's said that once we can truly balance Ida and Pingala as they weave up either side of the Sushumna or spine, that once we can do that, then the Kundalini energy can be transmitted up through the Sushumna. So very important in energetic terms. But also this breathing technique, very useful if you're feeling any kind of tension, stress or anxiety. Just try this for five minutes, even three. And really lock into that parasympathetic nervous system and relax you. When you're ready, just resting the hands on the knees for a couple of breaths. Are you feeling the relaxation now? Calm energy. And either continuing to sit here, cross-legged, or if you prefer, coming more to a Cesar, so sitting on the heels or between the heels. I'm going to start right down in the extremities. And we're going to work with, we're going to work with the fingers. Some, for whatever reason, I call these hand wows. Just extending the arms. And just throwing open the hands and extending the fingers. Now we're only going to do a couple of minutes of these, but that's actually going to feel like quite a reasonable period of time. But what we really want to do is get as much energy as we can activated in these extremities. Whether we're looking at the sort of Taoist or the Indian philosophies, the extremities the fingers and the toes are very important in energetic terms because a lot of our energy channels either start or finish here. And even in acupuncture, 
there are plenty of sensitive points on the extremities or close to. And quite often we find that even when we're doing yoga or other exercise, we neglect the extremities as we probably found in the other half of this sequence. When we start to work with the toes, a lot of us find that quite difficult, toes and ankles. So getting close now. Really feeling this, you'll feel this in the fingers, probably even the forearms and the wrists. Where we're just seeking to stimulate and open up the channels that go down to those extremities. A couple of breaths now. Maybe pausing. We're going to stretch the hands and then we're going to go for rotations. So we're going to do another couple of minutes, so maybe a minute this way. Nice and slow. So this practice today is not about the physical. What we're wanting to do is work with the energetic. So in all of our postures, we don't want to be right at the edge of our physical capabilities because then that sensation will just swamp all of the energetic sensations. So we want to stimulate, using the physical body, stimulate our energy production enough to feel it, but not overwhelm it. And getting ready, turn the other way, about another minute. So again, you're going to feel this in the wrists, maybe also still in the forearms, maybe even coming right up into the shoulders. Really just working on opening up channels, some light stimulation. Maybe starting to coordinate movement and breath. Just allow the body to find its own natural rhythm and it will find the rhythm that matches the movement. Relaxing for a moment. So we're going to move up the arms, so wrists and elbows. And we're going to do that. Well, we could, you could just um, do it sitting here in Caesar if you wish. We're going to do that with a reverse prayer. So bringing the hands behind like that, or so just holding the opposite elbows. So starting to find that edge now. Let's move into using these three breaths as we're going to use for the rest of the practice. So find our edge. Then we use our first breath. To relax the muscles in the target area, so the shoulders, top of the arms, around the elbows, forearms, even across the top of the chest. As they relax, they open up. Stress moves to the connective tissues, 
begin to feel a sensation which is the creation of energy. On the next exhale, suspend the breath. Draw the attention, the focus to the target areas. Observe, become aware of the sensations. Next, we use our second breath. We draw our breath into the upper arms, shoulders, across the front of the chest. As we exhale, we fill those target areas with the energy. We draw in, we're drawing in prana and energy. Exhale, we fill and energize the target areas. Exhale, suspending the breath. Observing once again the sensations before using our third breath. Starting at the elbows, we inhale, we draw the energy up outside of the arms, shoulders, up across the front of the chest, maybe even up the side of the head. Exhale, move the energy back down the side of the head, shoulders, outside of the arms, maybe all the way down to the fingertips. Inhale, all the way back up, fingertips, forearms, shoulders, head. Just continuing with that movement of the breath and energy. A couple more breaths. Getting used to the sequence. And releasing. I'm going to stay working on the arms. So we're going to stay in Cesar. Then we're going to work two ways. So we're going to firstly place the top of the palms on the mat and then after a couple of minutes swap the other way. So with the top of the palms on the mat we're going to feel the stress down the top, front, the outside of the arms. We can regulate how much stress we get with the position of the upper body to some extent. And also with how far away from the body. So the closer in towards the body, the less stress. If you move the hands further out, we're going to get more. It all depends on the flexibility that you have personally. So whatever's comfortable for you, Remembering we don't want to be at the limit of our physical endurance. Just finding some stress. Using the breath to relax the muscles in the wrists and the forearms. Suspend, observe. Use the second breath to draw in energy. Exhale to expand that energy all the way up the arms. Suspend the breath, observe. Finally, the third breath, starting from the wrists. As we inhale, draw the energy up through the arms. Again, coming up through the shoulders to the side of the head. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, draw the energy up. Exhale, move the energy down. Just continue in your own pace. If it's a bit challenging to feel the movement of the energy, then simply just draw a mental line along the line that you want to move the energy. And over time, you'll find that your sensitivity improves and you will be more readily able to 
feel that energy moving. Gently coming back. So the other way, we're putting the palms down on the mat, fingers back towards us. So again, closer to the body, less stress, further out, more stress. Feel it at the inside of the arms. On the edge, use the breath to relax. Relax the inside of the arms, suspend the breath, observe. Use the second breath, draw in breath, prana, into the inner arms. Exhale, filling all of the inside of those arms with energy. Suspend the breath, observe. Finally, with our third breath, starting from the wrists, we inhale, we draw that energy all out the inside of the arm, coming up to the shoulder, side of the head, exhale all the way back down, even maybe going to the fingertips. Inhale, fingertips inside of the arm, shoulders and head. Exhale all the way back down. Continuing with that movement, your own pace. Again, remembering we can just draw a line. If we're finding the detection of the energy a bit challenging. And just releasing. So we're moving up the arms a little bit to deal with the shoulders and the chest. So we can either continue with our Caesar position across the legs or some of us might prefer a shoelace, whichever you're comfortable with. I'll just go for a nice cross-legged. And so let's start on the right-hand side. We're going to take the right hand up behind us. The left hand comes out to the side, palm to the back. Up the middle of the back. Reaching down. Joining the hands if we can. If not, just using a towel or even just holding onto the shirt. So again, find the edge, use the breath, relax. Relax the inside of the right arm, the outside of the left arm. Second breath, draw energy in. Into both arms, exhale, fill both arms full of energy. Third breath, we're gonna start with the right arm, the elbow. Gonna draw the energy from the elbow to the right shoulder, across the back, down the outside of the left arm, all the way to the fingertips. Inhale up the left arm, across the back, exhale down the right arm. Just 
continuing to move that energy up and down through the arms. Just one more breath. And you're releasing. Exactly the same now to the other side. So taking the left arm up, right arm out, turn the palm to the back, up between the shoulder blades. Holding hands behind the back, or just holding onto the shirt. Finding that edge, using the breath to relax. Exhale, relaxing the muscles. Stress creates energy in the connective tissues. Suspend the breath, observe. Use the second breath to draw more energy into the arms. Left and right. Exhale, filling the arms, energizing the arms. Finally using that third breath. So starting with the left fingers, drawing the energy in from the Left fingers all the way up the left arm, across the back, down, across the right arm, down the right arm to the right fingers. Inhale, drawing up through the right arm. Exhale, down through the left arm. Continuing with that energetic movement. For just a few more breaths. Gently releasing, we just roll our shoulders. So for our next posture, we're going to work up for shoulders, chest. We're just going to work with the neck for a few moments. Now again, I prefer to do this in Cesar, but just find a comfortable position. And we're simply just going to allow the head move side to side first and then back to front. And a couple of breaths to settle in. Just relaxing, start using the breath to relax. I'm just going to allow the head to drop towards the left shoulder. Don't raise the left shoulder. Allow the head to move that way. Feeling the stress on the right hand side of the neck. Cervical spine. If we want, we can extend that right arm out. Allowing that stress to create some energy. Suspend the breath. Observe the energy. Neck moving down the outside of the arm. Use the second breath. Draw in more energy, prana. Exhale, fill the arm. Observe. Before we use the third breath to start at the right fingertips, draw the energy all the way up the outside of the arm, right side of the neck, right side of the head. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Just continuing with that movement. Couple more breaths now. And back on the knees, head to center, taking the left arm out to the side, and gently allowing the head to fall towards the right shoulder. Being careful not to lift that shoulder. Using the breath to relax the neck and the shoulder, the left hand side. Exhale, relax the muscle. Start to feel the stress all the way from the fingertip right up to the neck. Energy creation. Suspend the breath, observe. Now drawing the second breath in to the neck, the shoulder and the arm. Exhale, feeling the neck, the shoulder and the arm full of energy. Finally, using our third breath to working from the fingertips in the left finger. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna draw that energy all the way up the outside of the left arm, left neck, left side of the head. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, drawing the energy up. Exhale, moving the energy down. Just continue with that at your own pace. And back to the knee. Getting ready now for the back front. So we'll go back first. If you're more comfortable, you can put your hands behind support. But otherwise, just allow the head to fall backwards. Again, it doesn't have to be forced right back, just enough to feel some stress here. Use the breath to relax. Relax the muscles of the front of the neck. Stressing the connective tissues, creating energy. Suspend the breath. Observe. Second breath, draw in energy into the front of the neck. Exhale, fill the neck and the top of the shoulders with energy. Exhale, fill. Pause, observe. Using the third breath, we're going to draw the energy from the throat up the front of the face. Exhale, allow that energy to move back down through the throat, maybe even down the front of the body towards the groin. From the groin, draw the energy back up. Throat, face, exhale, back down. Just continue with that movement that union of breath and energy movement. Yeah. 
Inhale, slowly bring the head back to center. Exactly the same now with the head coming forward. So as we exhale, just allow the head to fall forward. Again, just allow the weight of the head enough to get some stress in the back of the neck. Using the first breath to relax the back of the neck and the top of the shoulders perhaps. As we relax those muscles, we can feel the energy being created in the neck. Pause, observe. Second breath, draw in breath and energy into the neck. Exhale, fill the neck and the shoulders full of that energy. Energize that area. Inhale. Exhale, feel and energize. Third breath. We're going to draw that energy all the way up the back of the neck. Top of the head. Exhale, come back down the neck, shoulders. Maybe even coming down the outside of the arms. Drawing the energy back up the arms, inhale. Shoulders, neck, top of the head. Exhale all the way back down the arms. Breathing in and out, moving that energy. Inhale. Working with the shoulders and the, the back now. So thoracolumbar. We're going to work the thoracolumbar by straightening the legs in front of us. And just coming forward into what's known as a caterpillar. If you want to bring more into the shoulders, if you feel like you want to work the shoulders a little bit more, then we can do that by crossing the arm. So bringing the right elbow on top of the left, coming round, palms facing each other as close as possible. Then we'll swap halfway and then rolling forward. You may find it useful to have a bolster. If you want, you can simply just roll forward over the bolster. Or if you're using the eagle arms, probably a little bit challenging to do both. So we're just folding forward, finding that edge. Nice rounding on the spine, thrasso lumbar. Mm -hmm. To find that edge, we're going to use that breath. Use that first breath we're going to inhale into the back and the shoulders. Exhale, relax the muscles. Exhale, relax the muscles. As we relax the muscles. Stress moves to the connective tissues and we're creating the energy. Next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe that energy. Where is it? Where about in the back and across the shoulders? Using the second breath. Breathe into the back and the shoulders. 
Exhale, we're going to feel the back and the shoulders full of that prana we've just drawn in. Inhale, draw in prana. Exhale, feel and energize the back and the shoulders. Next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe. And then we're going to use our third breath for the movement of the energy. So let's start at the base of the spine. And as we inhale, let's draw that energy all the way up to the spine. Up to the shoulders. And if we're in the eagle arms, exhale, move that energy down the arms to the fingertips. Inhale, draw it back up the arms. Exhale down the middle of the spine, all the way down the back, base of the spine, maybe even coming further down the legs. Down the legs, down the back of the legs to the feet. Toes, inhale, drawing the energy all the way up the back of the legs and the spine. Top of the head, all the way back down the spine. Continuing with the movement. It suits you today. You can just do the top of the body, base of the spine to the head, down the arms, or you can go all the way up and down to the legs. And if you've got the arms crossed here, this is when we come up briefly, swap the other side. And then come back down. If you're not using the arms, just stay as you were. So again, relax. Using breath, first breath, the breath of relaxation, breathing in, exhale, releases the muscles all up through the back and in the shoulders and arms. Relax the muscles, stress to the connective tissues, creating that energy. Exhale, suspend the breath. Observe that energy. Where is it? What is it? Second breath, we inhale. Drawing in more prana, more energy. We exhale, we fill the back and the shoulders and the arms with that energy. Inhale, drawing more. Exhale, fill the back and the shoulders, energize. Next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe the sensations. Moving to the third breath of movement. Starting from the base of the spine again. Inhale, draw that energy all the way up the center of the spine. Coming up to the shoulders. Exhale, down the outside of the arms. All the way down to the fingers. Inhale, drawing the energy back up. Fingers up through the arms, shoulders. Base of the neck, 
exhale all the way back down the spine, coming down through the base of the spine, down the back of the legs, all the way down the back of the legs to the feet and the toes, inhaling up from the toes, back of the legs, up through the glute, all the way back up the spine, neck, right up the back of the head to the top of the head. And just continuing with this movement, just move the breath and the energy. Just coordinating with the movement of the breath. Releasing the hands, coming back to lying flat on the back for a nice rebound. So arms and legs relaxed, lying flat down on the mat. Bringing the eyes to a close if you're comfortable doing that. And just bringing your attention straight away to the target areas that have been working. So the arms inside and out, the shoulders, across the top of the chest, and even the, even the back. Just tuning into the sensations there, trying to move through any physical sensations and focusing on the more subtle, the energetic. Just where those sensations are and how they feel. How different are they to the sensations we had in the posture when we were under stress? Perhaps here as we relax, the energy is starting to trigger some kind of emotional response from us. And if it is, again, just note that. Just observe. Our next target area is going to be the front and back of the body, so the abdominals are also going to be compressing the spine a little. And we can do that with um, blocks. I suggest starting with one block and always using on the flat side. Don't try and use them like that. Um, if it's in your practice, you might want to, but let's start with, with one. We're going to place that block between the shoulder blades. So we're going to lie down, placing that block between the shoulder blades. Some people prefer using the bolster, which you can do. A little bit more height, but it's softer. So whichever one is going to work for you. Certainly more comfy. So just finding, finding our edge. If 
feeling a bit of stressy already in the abdominals. Feeling some compression up the spine. So you might find a bit of compression down the base of the spine and the sacrum. Lumbar sacrum area. We're here for quite some time. So we've really got the time to ease in. Use the breath to relax. Inhale, as we exhale, we feel the muscles in the front of the body. They can relax. As they relax, the posture might open up. This gives us the opportunity to adjust. So if we want, we can take the arms out to the sides or above. Relaxing layers that stress to move to the connected tissue. So bring our attention back to the abdominals. And the next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe. Observe the creation of the energy that's happening. And here in the abdominal area. Next, we're going to bring in that second breath. So we're going to draw in prana energy into this abdominal area. And as we exhale, we're going to fill the abdominal area coming up the front of the body with energy. So inhale, draw in. Exhale, fill my abdominals and the front of the body with energy. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, fill and energize. Next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe. And then bring in that third energy movement breath, starting down in the target area around the abdominals. As we inhale, we're going to draw that energy up the front of the body. Coming all the way up the arms, if our arms are extended above, maybe even to the fingertips. Exhaling all the way back down the arms, down the front of the body. It's all the way down to the big toes. Inhale, drawing that energy up. Front of the legs, abdominals, front of the body, torso, arms. And exhale back down. And just continuing with that movement of the energy in the breath for a short while. Your own pace. Really starting to bond that breath and the energy movement together now. Feeling the energy crackling all the way from the fingertips down to the toes. The next exhale, we're just going to pause at the abdominals. And take a focus around the back, so to the base of the spine. The Lumbar, 
And this time as we inhale, we're going to draw that energy all the way up the spine. Going up the back of the neck, over the top of the head. And as we exhale, we're going to move that energy all the way back down the front of the body, down to the groin. Inhale, drawing that energy round to the spine, base of the spine, drawing it up the spine. Neck, back of the head, top of the head. Exhale all the way down, down to the groin. Inhale, drawing it up the spine. And just continuing with that circular movement of energy. And then gently just lean to one side. Remove the block or the bolster. Come back to lying on the back. So we're for another a rebound. Lying flat on the back. Close the eyes, arms and legs relaxed. Taking the attention to the target area, so the abdominals, even the base of the spine. And just observing the sensations in those areas. But also perhaps just walking through the areas that you moved energy through. How do they feel? How different is it now? Relax versus under stress. Can we feel more energy? Can we feel it able to move more freely? What's the nature of that energy? Temperature, fluid, electrical. Just observe. You ready? We're going to move to our next posture, which is going to be lying down again, but we'll need preferably a bolster. So this is a bit comfier. So our target area is going to be the side of the body, the obliques. Now a couple of, we're going to just lie over the bolster. A couple of different positions. We can put it just underneath the obliques or under the hip. Uh, personal choice, but what you tend to find if you put it under the hip is that there's more lower body stress. And since we're working today with the upper body, well, that's the focus, 
I'm going to place, place it just underneath the obliques here, just underneath the rib cage. So just positioning the bolster. Yeah. Again, position of the feet. A few different options. You can have them together. Or let's start with the right leg forward, left leg back. And then we're simply going to lie over. Arms can come over the head. You're going to feel quite an intense stress down this left hand side of the body. So you may want to fiddle around with the position of the feet. But again, we're not after a deep physical experience. We want enough stress to create energy here. So just finding that edge. Using the breath. Exhale, relaxing the muscles all the way down this left hand side of the body. As we relax, the posture opens up. Stress moves to the connective tissue. And we become aware of that sort of energetic creation sensation. And the next exhale, suspend the breath. Use that suspension just to observe the energy creation in this left oblique. Using the second breath, we're going to draw more prana energy into that left side of the body. Exhale, we're going to fill that whole left side of the body with more energy, even coming up the side of the neck. Draw in. Exhale, fill and energize. Next exhale, suspending the breath again, just momentarily observe. And then using that third breath, starting from the left oblique, I'm going to draw the energy all the way up that left hand side of the body. All the way up to the left hand side of the neck and the head. Exhale all the way back down the left hand side of the body, outside of the left leg, down to the edge of the left foot. Inhale. Draw it all the way back up, outside of the left leg, left side of the body. Maybe this time coming up the arms. And just continuing with that movement, the movement of the breath and the energy. Moving the energy all the way from the tips of the fingers down to the tips of the toes. Or even coming up into the side of the head. Few more breaths. Now we're going to swap to the other side, so you can just roll over. Now I'll just swap sides. So again, try under the rib cage, extending those legs, maybe the top leg forward. And just folding. Allowing the body to just fold over the bolster. Left arm extended. We can 
moderate the amount of stress here with this right arm. So down here, we're getting some stress. As we extend that right arm, we're getting a lot more. Again, the relative position, whether it's the top leg in front or the bottom leg in front, you can adjust that and see how that affects the stress in the oblique. But moving to using the breath to relax. Exhale, relax. Posture opening. Energy being created. Exhale, suspend the breath. Observe that creation of the energy in the right oblique area. Using our second breath to draw in prana, energy, life force into that right side of the body. Using the exhale to fill and energize that whole right hand side of the body, all the way up the chest, maybe even up to the neck. Inhale and exhale, fill and energize. Next exhale, suspend the breath. Observe the right oblique. Observe the energy. Before we move to the third breath. So again, starting at the right oblique. We're going to inhale, we're going to draw that energy all the way up the right hand side of the torso. All the way up the right hand side of the neck into the right hand side of the head and as we exhale all the way back down back down through the hip down the outside of the right leg the IT band all the way down to the edge of the right foot inhale drawing up foot IT band oblique side of the body this time maybe even going up the outside of the arms Exhale back down, continuing with that movement, coordinated movement, breath and energy up and down, tip to toe through the body. Now just gently removing the bolster. Coming in for another rebound there. So lying on the back, arms and legs relaxed. So arms and legs relaxed, bringing the eyes to a close. We've got rebounds in between these postures because I'm going to quite long there, yeah, eight minutes or so as a posture. So we're creating, stimulating, moving a lot of energy in that time. We want to have some time to reflect and see what the after effects of those postures are and just observe. So bring the attention to the sides of the body and do just that. Just observe what's happening in the side of the body. How do the sides of the body feel?
Can we sense the energy moving? Is it moving? And what is its nature? The more we develop this coordination of breath and energy, you'll find that even sometimes as you're breathing, you're involuntarily moving energy. And staying with the obliques for our next posture. I'm going to do that with a, a deer. So you, again, you might find it useful to have the, the bolster to hand. So we're going to take the left leg behind, bend that front leg at the knee, bring the foot in towards that knee. And then we're simply going to turn to the right. I like to rest the right foot on the left knee. Just find it gives me a deeper twist. I'm just going to twist the body around, getting a nice twist in the spine as well. But also we can already feel the stress in the side of the body in the obliques. So starting to find that edge, first point of physical resistance, not pushing through, just pausing, consciously using the breath to relax. So breathing into the obliques, breathing into the side of the body. And we relax the muscles, Stress to the connective tissues, energy creation. With the torso up here, we're probably going to feel it more in the right hand side of the oblique. But as the posture opens up, we might also want to adjust so we come down onto elbows or we could rest on the, the bolster. Deciding which way the head faces. Or if you want, you could even come straight down onto the mat. So wherever you choose to settle. Just pause, suspend the breath. Observe. If we move the torso down, we may begin to feel a movement across to the left side of the body, the left oblique. Drawing in breath number two into the obliques. Exhale, filling that whole area across the front and around the back of the body. The midriff filling it full of energy. Inhale, draw in, exhale, fill and energize. Briefly suspending the breath, observing the target area around the obliques. Or using the third breath, so we're going to start on the left side, the left oblique, and draw the energy up the left hand side of the body, left hand side of the head, exhale all the way back down, oblique down the front of the left leg, all the way down to the toes, inhale, drawing the energy up.
Exhale, maybe this time, let's take it down the, the back. So coming across the right hand side of the back, down to the right glute, the outside of the right leg, all the way down to the toe. Inhale, up the outside of the right leg, glute, back. Exhale down the left hand side, to the left oblique. And just continue with moving energy and breath. Just a couple of breaths. Gently in your own time, walking back up. Legs out in front, bringing the right leg back, bent in the knee, bending the left leg, bringing the sole of the foot towards that right knee, and now twisting the other way, so twisting round to the left. Finding that edge. With the torso up here, we're feeling it more on the left hand side of the oblique at the moment. But again, as we go down, that may move across or level up on the right hand side. So let's use that first breath, the relaxing breath. Exhale, relax the side of the body, the obliques. Suspend the breath on the next exhale. Observe the energy creation around the obliques. Using the second breath, inhale, drawing in energy prana into the obliques, even around the rectus abdominis, across the front of the stomach, lower abdomen. Exhale, filling that whole area full of energy. If we want, we can adjust. We can move down, we can come onto the bolster, or onto the elbows. Continuing to draw in. Exhale, fill that area full of energy. Exhale, suspend the breath, just momentarily enough to notice the energy, whether it's on the left hand side or the right hand side now. Bring our attention to the right hand oblique. As we inhale now, we're going to use that third breath to draw the energy up the right hand side of the body up through the shoulder, right side of the neck, right side of the head. Exhale all the way back down, right side of the body, coming down the front of the right leg, all the way down to the big toe. Inhale all the way back up the front of the leg. The bleak side of the body, up to the right side of the neck. Exhale down the left side of the back, left glute, outside of the left leg, IT band, all the way down to the toes. Inhale, drawing up, outside of the left leg, left glute, left side of the back, up to the neck, and down the right hand side of the body. And just continuing. With your choice of movement combined with breath, moving the energy where you feel it needs to be.
Just a couple more breaths now. Inhale, just releasing those legs. Coming to lie on the back for our Shavasana. Taking a comfortable lying position, the arms and legs relaxed. Either bringing the eyes to a close or just a soft gaze on the ceiling, whichever you're most comfortable with. And to start, just observing the natural movement of the breath in and out of the body. Perhaps there's some energy movement attached to it, but our focus is just the breath here, just going to relax. Just relax for a short time as we settle in and get comfortable for our Shavasana. We're going to be here for about nine or ten minutes. So I want to make sure that we're comfortable, that we're warm enough. Breathing in and breathing out. So over the course of the last 80 or 90 minutes, we focused on the upper body. We've worked from the fingertips up through the hands, the wrists, forearms, elbows, coming all the way up to the shoulders, the neck, across the shoulders at the front and the back. We've worked with the, the back, the thoracolumbar, and at the front of the body. And also quite a bit of work there on the sides of the body and the obliques. So just take a moment to observe how that upper body feels. And again, trying to move through the physical sensations and focus on the energetic sensations that remain. Perhaps bring your attention to the heart space. It's considered to be the halfway or the meeting point between the more subtle and the more physical or gross bodies. So let's start at this junction and use that to explore the brief journey that we've had today. So from the heart space, let's move some energy down to the fingertips. Moving down through the arms, the inside of the arms, coming to the fingertips, and moving the energy back up the outside of the arms, coming all the way back up to the shoulders, back of the neck, creeping all the way up the back of the head, top of the head before it just melts down the front of the face, neck, all the way down the neck, front of the torso, and down towards the abdominals, moving around from the abdominals to the sides to the obliques. Just 
Just observing the movement of the energy. That energy that we've created, amplified and moved through the upper body today. With that movement, just sensing how different that energy feels. It's how we felt at the beginning of the practice. Perhaps we're feeling a little bit more tuned in, a little bit more sensitive to that energy. Perhaps our ability to observe is greater than when we started. Over time, it will certainly increase. This will allow us to feel the movement of that energy through whatever part of the fascial network or over the body that we want to. The energy is there and is moving. It's largely our ability to detect it we need to work with. So rather than move any more energy or create any more energy, let's spend the last few moments with an open mind focused on the upper body in silence, just following the energy around moving through the parts that we work today. Listen and learn. Learn about yourself.
and then very gently just start to bring your awareness back to the room that you're in. Maybe start by taking a couple of deeper inhales and exhales. Keep the eyes closed if you can. Maybe wiggle those fingers and thumbs. Wiggle the toes. Maybe even take the arms overhead and stretch. And when you're ready, you just roll into one side, coming up to a seated, comfortable position. Head dropped towards the mat. Gently blinking open the eyes. Raising the head. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us. We really do appreciate the support. I hope that you enjoyed this energetic sequence and please leave feedback. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help us in continuing to develop these by donation sessions.